Welcome back to episode 26 of my Stationers playthrough. So I hope that uh, you've been enjoying it so far. Um, last time we upgraded the uh, server room, which I've just come up from, and uh, started to make the uh, control room up here look somewhat nicer. Uh, we've got a storm going on outside at the moment, um, but uh, that's okay. We can see up there. Um, We've still got a low pressure problem, so when the uh, storm is over, we are going to go and do some more work on the um, ice sorting um, so that we can uh, make a bit more progress with uh, getting the atmosphere sorted, I think. Um, however, in the short term, whilst the storm is raging out there, um, what we will do is we will come through here and have a bit of a further tidy up. Um, depending on how we get on, um, we may also manage to get the uh, greenhouse sorted out, but I do think it probably needs a bit more space to really work properly, so we'll see how that goes. Um, however, in the short term, let's just try and tidy up a bit. Um, so let's get those. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Okay, I mean we really don't need this many uh, seeds. However, what we can do now is I think we can replant a fern over here. Let's get rid of the dead ones. They don't look great, do they? There we go. Right, okay, so um, see if we can make anything else. This has been churning away happily. Um, so we'll get some uh, soup made. I suspect we could probably do some pumpkin as well. I threw quite a lot of pumpkin in last time. Oh, surprisingly not. Oh, they're still in here. They haven't uh, haven't all cooked yet. I can see why. We've got 48 tomatoes in there. Right, that's a partly consumed can. Um, right. So, what we'll do... Now, while this is happening, is we may as well run some pipes down here. I'm really just trying to find jobs that need doing that we can usefully uh, get on with. Until the storm is finished. Okay, that's good. I had some more in there, but I don't. better. I really need to move that. Let's throw them in there. Right, is that line? I thought that was the end of the storm for a minute, but it wasn't. Right. Oh, that's a bit better. Warning. 
Right, that's the end of the storm. See the uh, yeah, swirling around. I just want to make sure that nothing has. No, okay. I could just see the particles all flying in this direction very rapidly. I was slightly concerned that uh, we had a puncture somewhere, but I think it's just the way they're, uh, they're appearing, they're going through that wall. I mean, the pressure's holding, so you'd think it would be falling quite quickly if there was a whole panel missing. Right, let's go outside. So, it is obviously night time. Um, it should be daytime quite soon. Looking at the angle of those panels, yeah, there's the light in the sky. Okay, they're on 88, so that's fine. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to drink, may as well eat as well. Um, right, so what we're going to do is, First of all, coming over here just to get away from the down alarm, um, I'm going to put an extra sorter in um, further up the line from the Rover garage to sort ice. And the idea being that uh, we'll then run a line of chutes um, all the way down. Right, I'm definitely going to need more than that. In fact, I think we're going to need more than that, so... And I'm going to program this one slightly differently, um, because I've actually got an IC script that we can use to program sorters and run them, rather than using the um, computer, which is somewhat faster, so um, we're going to put in an IC housing. Right, if we got a cable, some, not very much. Spare lights. Okay, well, we'll throw them in there. Right, so it's going to have a quick site survey. So I think what I'm going to do is actually split it right here, straight after this, um, and feed the ice out on its own line. It means quite a lot more shoots, but then that can be an express line that goes directly down. And then that will save this sorter here. Um, but I think that's, well, we may leave that sorter in place, it's not really doing any harm. Um, I think that's sensible, because what happened the last time was that all of the ice got stuck behind the ore. Um, and as a result, um, it wasn't able to uh, make it as far as the refrigerated vending machine before uh, it ran out and uh, it all evaporated into gas, which we lost. So, um, trying to think straight with that thing going off is really annoying. So, I've got a sorter IC control script here. Um, this is on the workshop. Um, what this is designed to do is I've basically put all of the hashes, whoops, all of the hashes are in a series of subroutines here um, for different, so these are all item hashes. So, um, for example, if you want this, which we do just to take ices, we comment out the seeds and we just uncomment ices. You can have any or all of these. You can also add individual um, items if they're not on these types. Um, by pushing them onto the stack here with individual commands. 
And what it then does is it pushes all of the uh, things we want, might want to sort onto the stack. And then once something comes in, it searches for the item hash to see if it's something it's looking for, in which case it puts it out through the sort side or not, in which case it puts it out through the unsort side. Um, so it's quite simple, um, but effective because actually it avoids the need to use a computer, which I should have gathered from last time, I get irritated by. Um, I should have used it previously, to be honest. Um, I actually wrote that script quite a while ago, but I just went back through it the other day and uh, optimized it and tidied up the code quite a lot and put it onto the workshop because um, I realized that actually it would be a smart thing to use on this build. So. Um, That may be enough for now. Just a bit of cable. 25. Hopefully that'll do it. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put an IC somewhere. I haven't quite worked out where yet. I might just put it here because we're going to put floor grating. Yeah, we'll put it here. We're going to put floor grating down here later anyway. So it's as good a spot as any. I don't have to run the cable too far then. Um, and I do like this new tool belt, but it's just taking me a minute just to get used to having the extra slots on there. Surprising how much you just kind of do things on autopilot. Right, there we go. Um, and on to there, good. Right, okay, so now what we can do is ourselves a bit of height. I'm going to take out this one. We're going to get the sorter and we're going to place it whoops, here. lines along here but first of all we're gonna pull that one out whoops come on there we go okay good right so things that are unsorted go straight through so this will be our standard ore that can go in there Things that get sorted, which will be the ice, will go through this way. So, let's see how far we get here. I think if I'm reasonably frugal with windows, we can probably get most of the way to where we want to be. Um, I need to run this along here, won't I? It's not quite ideal eclipse unless I run it underneath. Oh, I could run it underneath. Yes, I could. That would be tidy. of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong place. I'm very confused. Does it go under? No, it does fit. It does fit. It sort of slightly clips through the machine, but it does fit. It works for me. Right, let's do it. right place. Look at that gold billion. Uh, right. Now 
Okay, there we go. It's a bit fiddly to put this in, I have to say, but this is a good solution. Actually, I'm going to need a few more, but we're not too bad. Thought we'd be coming up miles short. So we will need a few more, but not very many. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll bring that round there. Could strip out the other sorter to be honest. Um, I guess I might as well, it will save some power. Just drop that there for a minute. That would be nice. We have to see what's going on. Um, okay, so we need a couple more, but not too many. Uh, I'll throw that in there. We might use that in a minute. Very disconcerting to see those atmosphere particles passing through the walls. Right, just up and over, I think. This is a little bit fiddly, but. So that's running through there, so that's all good. Now I just need to uh, configure this IC. Um, so, oops, the uh, label is on here now. So that's called sorter call, and we need to connect this one. This is going to be sorter ice. Whoops, not exactly done quite right. I must have been on caps lock. Sort of ice. Right, whoops. And let's get the connection done. There we go. And should be as simple. Nothing's ever this simple, but in theory it should be as simple as point this at sorter ice, turn it on, and that should send all the ice in the right direction. So I guess we need to test it. Ah, and luckily I've got some. That was on. I'm sorry to all those of you who have asked me to stop leaving my drill on. I thought I had turned it off. Um, right. Okay. Let's uh, let's chuck this in here. What was in this one? Was that more? Yes, there was some more oxide. That looked to me like that went down the wrong one. 
No. Oh no, that was not what I meant to do. Well, it's all gone the wrong way now. Okay, well, let's see whether any made it into here. Uh, right, okay, interesting. Something did, um, but I don't understand why. I'm actually a bit baffled by that. It must be all must be not set properly and, and uh, sending stuff both ways. Okay. I did remember to export the code to this chip, didn't I? I'm not... Yeah, no, I did. Do a little test first. Um, we'll go grab some stuff and mine it. Um, but before we do, I'm just going to try and test something. This is not as mad as it probably looks, I promise. I want to see which way things come out. When I feed them in. So what should happen is that anything that's not ice should pass straight through and should come flying out to the left and anything that is ice should come out the other side. That's how we'll know if it's working. So let's uh, first of all let's split that into two halves because I want to know it's consistent. So that, that's, just, that's definitely not working then. Right, why has that happened? Have I forgotten to set something up? Otherwise I'm going to have to revert to a uh, computer sorter, which I'll do if I have to, but... Right, first of all, did I include ices? Yes, I did. Right. So the board itself should be showing us the occupant hash. The sort it should be. Right. So this was showing a zero on the chip setting, which suggests that R zero was itself zero, which suggests that the sorter input slot occupant hash. I think zero is the input slot. I've used this code before and it worked, so I'm a bit confused. Um, let's just go see if we can pull up a sorter. Just double check that. Right, so it should be on logic mode, so that's fine. Slots. I don't know what slot 3 would be. Oh, 3 is the data disk slot. Right, okay, import, export, and export. So that should be right. That should be reading the occupant hash from the import. Well, that's very strange. I don't think it was showing, unless I just missed it. No, that is showing as a zero. Um, okay, well let's try putting some steel sheets through. That should have set this to show an input. Hash. And I suspect if I put steel sheets through again they'll come out the other side. Yeah. It's like it hasn't set it to mode 2. Right, we're definitely setting it to mode 2. 
Sort us on D-Zero. I'm, I'm a bit baffled by this, I have to be honest. Um, Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. It's really strange. I, I'm going to have to write some. Uh, Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Right. Um, what we'll do is we'll load into an unused register. I don't think I'm using many in this code now. Let's uh, load into register 9, the sorters mode, and then we're going to sdb setting r9. And then I'm going to yield. So hopefully what that should do is Right, it's supposed to be writing mode 2 to the sorter, um, but hopefully what this will do will be to actually write whatever the mode of the sorter is back to this housing. But it's not having any of it. Unless, was there a second sorter called sorter ice? Have I actually got it pointing at a sorter that no longer exists? That is a possibility and would explain Power quite a critical. lot. Right, that is definitely pointing at the right sorter now. Right, okay, let's test it. Okay. And again. That's extraordinary, that is just not setting that sort of mode at all. This is a mode zero behaviour where it alternates between the two, acts as a, a splitter. Um, it's really strange and it's writing it back saying it's mode zero as well so um, I'm actually going to just stop the execution at that point. Warning. Pressure low. I don't know why it's not writing it. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. I'm just create an arbitrary label called ABC and what we'll do is we'll just jump back to ABC so it should just set the mode to read the mode and write that back to its own it shouldn't do anything further at that point Right, I don't think it's even getting as far as that state level of execution, I think. I think it's stopping somewhere up here. Maybe that the reset is not working. Ah, jump reset chip. That's going to jump right over this setting. That's why. This is a piece of code I've had to add recently because um, sometimes it doesn't reset the chip. I've just realised what's happening. So what was happening is, I can take this stuff out. Um, I'll leave those there, that's not an unuseful diagnostic. What was happening was, it was running the reset code, which is uh, down here. Um, which is fine, but then when it was, when it was running a, a JRA, RA is not set and that was just a jump. Um, that should have said JAL. I mean actually that's the simplest solution. It's just to correct that code. That's what that should have said. I'll fix that on the... Uh, so JAL means jump but store the next line in the register RA. So then JRA jumps back to RA 
it's a way of effectively going doing something and coming back to the line after you started but because it was a jump not a um jal it just jumped straight off so i think that's fixed it i don't quite understand how that's got broken i must have over typed it right so that comes out that side which is expected behavior and now it comes out the same side which is expected behavior and actually if we look at this you can see that is the hash code of steel sheets so it's now working okay so now all i've got to do is reconnect the uh or at least i say it's working it's now uh, behaving in the manner i would expect now we've just got to check whether i've configured it correctly Which is, of course, a whole different issue. However, let's give it a go. Let's go. Actually, we've got some. I'll drop it in through here. Okay, so what I'm hoping to see. Is the 25 stack in here? Oh, I may have actually re restacked it. Right, hang on. That was the iron that came through the last time. Yeah, it's actually combined those two 25 stacks because um, that is what sorters do. Okay, good. I think we're now working. Let's throw that in there. Let's go do some mining. get above the threshold for the low pressure warning because it's driving me completely mad. Um, if this isn't enough to do it, whatever we find here, I'm, I'll take the rover and we'll go on a full mining trip. Um, really what I'd like to do would be to um, use something not dissimilar to the um, sorter I just set up um, to sort out the uh, Harveys inside but we really have to sort out the pressure because I'm going to have to expand the hab a bit further um, and I just don't think it's going to take it so So at least that should next time reserve whatever ice we um, we mine. I'm not even going to use it right now because I'm very simply throwing this straight in the. Uh... Okay. Again, it's a waste of. Uh, we'll grab a little bit more water. We're hardly short of it, but we'll grab a little bit more. Um, I'll throw one in like that. It can process properly. The rest of it is going straight in here. And it can melt. Actually, those can go back in as well. Oh my god, has it finally stopped? Peace at last.
Okay. Good. It's obviously got us over the uh, over the threshold, albeit probably not by much. So I don't expect it'll last too long. Okay. Um, right. Perhaps we will take the rover out and do a proper another proper mining trip because we've smelted everything we did the last time. There is one thing we ought to do actually because that gets pressurised in there um, from any ice that melts. It's probably not worth it. It shouldn't happen in future. I was thinking about building an extract event. Whoops. It's actually quite late in the day though, isn't it, to be going out driving. A bit, a bit too late in the day to be going out driving. Right, that's the job for tomorrow. The rover's ready to go. Okay, so between now and then, uh, what other jobs need doing? Um, so we've got that sort of working properly. Do I want to brave working on the Harveys? It definitely desperately, desperately needs doing. Um, but what it desperately needs in there is a vending machine um, that we can start to store stuff in. Um, use it as a buffer, particularly for the seeds. Um, let's get to work on that first of all. Work on that through the night. I might even build a refrigerated one. Oh, I could make a turbine generator, that's good to know. We might make a melt room just to melt the ice really quickly and generate a little bit of power while we're doing it. It's a bit more fun than the ice crusher, but you have to be careful how you set it up, otherwise everything explodes. I've run out of power, haven't I? Danger. Danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, yeah. pressure low. <laughs> well, Danger. that lasted a long time, didn't it? Right, we'll get a vending machine in there. Um, we're probably going to need more shoots, we're bound to. big challenge we've got is the amount of space that's available, which uh, is basically none. Um, I'll program up another IC. Um, if I do another IC, we'll, we can use that for... Um, no, copper. Um, we can use that for the seed sorting. It'll save me sorting out with the computer. In fact, now I've kind of remembered that I've got that code ready to go and uh, used it. I'm just thinking I don't, just don't ever want to use the computer for programming them again because I hate programming sorters. Um, let's throw that in there. Grab that. Whoops, that was a terrible throw. Get in there. Right, I think that's enough. I don't want too many shoots. Bash. Um, right. Let's just finish this. Okay, so let's. Uh, Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Right. Pressure low. Okay, so first things first, Warning. actually, let's um, save this low. adjusted code. Um, and let's re just republish that onto the workshop. Um, just to make sure that uh, anyone else that's using it doesn't have the same problem. There we go. So you can see if you do write IC code, it's very easy to publish it to the workshop um, and to publish changes to it. Um, right. Let's, whoops. Let's do that. And we want seeds. Confirm that. Export that. Save a bit of power because it's not like we've got too much of it. Um, 
Right. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. So I dropped that. I'm an idiot. Right. Danger. Warning, pressure low. Let's put that over there for a minute. Whoa, there's some serious wind currents in here at the moment. Um, danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Drink. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning, I mean, actually, low. 40 kPa, 44 Warning, kPa is not low. terrible. Although, if we had the proper atmosphere Danger. mix, we would be Warning, potentially starting to suffocate. We've got too much oxygen in here. Warning, pressure low. So we'll just fling these in here. Miss a cank on there, it is. In you go. We will use you again. Right. Now then. First problem is where the hell am I going to fit a vending machine in here? Um, I might have to pull this bench out. I think that's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Um, if that's okay, we can move that into the other room. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Right. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. I'm not sure where, but well, maybe we can put it over here or something. Oof. For now, at least. Warning, pressure low. <coughs> Warning, pressure low. Okay, right, it's not powered because it's not connected, but that's a start. Um, We'll do something with these longer term as well, probably feed them to that vending machine outside. Danger. Danger. However, Warning. right, that's low. given us a bit of space to move, so what Warning. I want to do is I want a vending machine. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. There's just not enough room in here, this is Warning. the problem. Pressure low. Um Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. I have a cunning plan. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Potentially that could work. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Yeah, let's do it. Danger, danger. Looks Warning, awful, it clips through the wall low. there. That's a shame. Warning, um, however, low. danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. What I'm thinking low. here is Warning, pressure low. that the seeds danger, that are currently Warning, feeding low. through this uh, crazy piece of spaghetti. Warning, pressure low. Um, into there, I get fed into Danger. here. So actually, I'm going to move that Warning. across one. Pressure low. Um, and then we'll use pressure low. an IC to just trigger Danger. it. Danger. Periodically. Warning. Pressure um, low. It's really strangely positioned. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. It's not really ideal Danger. having it up in the sky Warning. like that, but pressure low. I think we can make this Warning. work. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Turn that on there while I can see Warning. it. Warning. Pressure low. So what low. I'm thinking is we'll use this as a buffer. Danger. Danger. 
Warning, pressure low. Yes, we've definitely got a problem here, haven't we? Stuff clipping through. Um, right. So this one is feeding. This is the route that's feeding. Okay, so currently on the sorter. Right. Okay, so currently... Warning. I think Pressure this side here, I'm going to just pull this Danger. out and see what happens. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. I think we can reasonably infer. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure That's low. the seeds. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Okay, so that Warning. Pressure low. Connects into danger, danger. Warning. Yeah, Pressure we're going to have even more danger. shoot spaghetti up here Warning. by the time this is Pressure done. Um, we're trying to feed the front of this sort of here. Um, so actually, that needs to come Warning. from low. down danger. there. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. I think that's Danger. right. Warning. Pressure low. Yes. Okay, so that will connect to there. Warning. Fine. Low. And then the Danger. front needs to effectively Danger. connect to the other end of Warning. that. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure oh, low. This is a bit of a nightmare. Um, Danger. Danger. We definitely do Warning. need to rebuild Pressure this in low. a bigger space at some point, but... Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, right. pressure low. Get this facing the right danger, way. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Uh, we'll have to do it like that. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Okay. Danger, danger. What I'm trying to Warning, do, if you haven't guessed, is to low. create space for an input shoot Warning. so that we can actually load the thing with any of the Danger. huge number of Danger. spares we've already got. Warning. Pressure low. Um, I couldn't do it now, I don't really want low. it on the floor, I'm concerned I'll drop things in Danger. by accident. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Inlet. Warning. Pressure I mean I could low. use the uh, manual Danger. handle but the amount Danger. we've got to put in I just Warning. want to throw it all Pressure in quick. Pressure right, low. okay. Danger. So that's Danger. that one. Warning. Pressure low. That's that one. Okay. Warning. So in Pressure theory, low. that should allow us to start loading that Danger. vending machine. Danger. Warning. Obviously it's not Pressure powered low. currently, so that's the next thing to fix. Um, Pressure low. Right, we had some purple cable somewhere as well, didn't we? Where is it? That's under there. Dave, I'll take that. Right. Danger. Danger. Oh, Warning. it's going to be too tight in. I'm not going to be able to fit this. Warning. Pressure low. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure uh, low. Right, okay. This is actually Warning. really annoying Pressure now. Low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. So Warning. we'll have to run Pressure that. Low. Through the Danger. middle. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Right. Okay. Danger. It's a start. Warning. 
Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Okay. Warning. I'm still gonna pressure need some rerouting, but at least it's the start. Warning. Pressure low. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kink that out Danger. here instead, Danger. aren't I? Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Right. Okay. Danger. Danger. That's that Warning. bit done. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. I'm not sure Danger. is whether I can actually run Warning. it. No, I can't. Pressure I thought low. I might be able to, like with pipes. But Warning. that's okay. Pressure we'll bring low. this around here. It's ugly as sin, but Danger. Warning. <laughs> at least Pressure it works. Low. That's the first problem. We can we can beautify Warning. things later Pressure when we've got more space. Danger. Danger. Warning. Right, now Pressure I've got low. to drop that cable down there. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Okay. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Right, Warning. so it's at least Pressure on now, I think. So you may be wondering at this Warning. point how we're going to Pressure prevent low. that. Um, without the jetpack all the Danger. time, and uh, the answer is we're going Warning. to build code to Pressure do that. Low. Let's just check it actually Warning. makes it in. It Pressure does. Low. Amazing. Danger. Right. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Now. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is probably reroute this, or at least temporarily split this open so I can see what I'm doing. Because we've now got to get into the front of this. You see this is where the problem... Oh, I can't even get it to deconstruct. This is where the problem has come from, um, this shoot here just becoming completely overfilled. As we've said with pipes, we are going to need to colour code these chutes quite soon because it's becoming quite hard to see what's going on. Can I get in this little tiny cramp space? Yes, I can. So extract some of this stuff while I'm in here. I feel like I'm about to smash the visor of my suit at any moment. I'm clipping through everything. Okay, 
Okay, that reroutes the one shoot that feeds the cooker. So hopefully what that allows me to do now is... Oh, drifted from my jetpack. Come on, that's, that's what I wanted to do. Um, I'll take that one off now. Okay, there we go. Danger, danger, warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Right. Danger. Well, hopefully danger, we've got enough here. Warning, pressure low. Warning, bring this around the front. Fly around like this. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Right. I hope that works. Warning. Pressure low. Right. First things Danger. first. Let's feed these in here. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Okay. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. So. Danger. Danger. Warning. Got a hell of a lot of seats low. here. We don't really need all of them, but. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Slightly Danger. concerned how Danger. this is going to work Warning. with the trader, Pressure but low. that's a different question. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. This will allow us to automatically uh, modify Danger. the crops as well Danger. once Warning. it's working um, because we'll be able to Warning. send instructions to vend particular seed types. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Oh. Warning. Come on, get in there. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Power low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Right. I really, really hope Warning. that this Pressure is the low. end of having seeds absolutely everywhere. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. What we'll do is we'll Warning. properly automate this so we will only dispense. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. When we need to. Warning. So longer term, low. I'll monitor the sorters and Danger. actually we'll route Danger. it. We'll use the same. Warning. Sort of low. code that we used on the um, Warning. Pressure low. ice sorter to Danger. actually route Danger. seeds through to where they're Warning. wanted. Pressure low. Um, that's a little way off, but at least Warning. in the short term, Pressure hopefully low. it gives us somewhere where all this stuff's being Danger. stored. Danger. Warning. Um, Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. 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 Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. 
Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Danger, danger. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Right, well, if nothing else, it's tidied danger, up a bit, hasn't it? Danger, warning, pressure low. That looks much better. Warning. We've still got a few shoots there as well. Uh, right. right. Hopefully that's converted all of that. Amazingly, it hasn't. I'll throw that in there, I don't know why it won't pick up. There we go, get in there. Whoops. That's a start. Warning, pressure low. Um, Warning, pressure more low. seeds, get in there. Don't Danger. want to see any more seeds. Warning, pressure really low. Warning, pressure I suspect pressure that the shoots uh, feeding the Harveys are still Danger. so rammed that there'll Danger. be some falling out for Warning. a while. Yet, pressure but low. Warning, pressure low. Danger. 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 Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. What did want to know? Oh, that's the reagent processor. I wonder whether I can. No, I needed the chemical processor. I was uh, thinking about making those first aid pills that I wished I'd had a few episodes back because I'm still not looking exactly low. brilliant. But Danger, danger. Right, Warning, one job at a time. Low. Okay, that's definitely looking better. Warning, pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Right. Those are down there. Ah, that was the extra soil. I thought I'd need one more sort than I did, but. I'm going to store that because I have a sneaking suspicion that we're not quite done with this food production mechanism yet. Right. Okay, now this needs to control the sorter that I've just put in. So that's this sorter here. Warning. Let's call the sorter Harvey out, so we've already got that. Danger. Danger. Warning. So we're gonna point that and sorter Harvey out. Oops. Turn that on and fingers crossed. All of our seeds hopefully will end up up the Top. Warning, That's the theory low. at least. Um, Danger. And Danger. then we can just Warning, fend them out when low. we're ready for some more. Warning, so Danger. hopefully Danger. Warning, pressure low. if we get that working, Warning, 
Pressure that will allow us. Oh, what's going on there? That looks really Danger. weird. That fern. Danger. Um, hopefully, with that working, um, what we now need to do is just add an IC into the um, vending machine there, and we'll be good to go. Right, let's turn that off. Danger. So we're going to have an IC that will control Warning. this, um, which will just vend. I probably need to work on some code Danger. here, but I think what we'll Danger. do is have it check Warning. the status Pressure of the Harveys, and when Pressure they're waiting low. for seeds, then we vend. Um, and as I say, if Warning. we do it right, um, then we should be able Warning. to Pressure actually low. route it directly to the Harvey that needs Danger. them. Danger. Warning. Pressure However, low. I don't think I'm going to try and write that code while this is going Warning. off constantly. Pressure low. It's driving me mad. We definitely, Danger. definitely Danger. need to get the rover. Warning. Pressure low. Go mining. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning. Pressure low. Danger. Danger. Warning. Pressure low. Warning, pressure low. Right. Danger. Danger. I think I might even just go and change the pressure threshold on it, actually. I think we'll move the minimum pressure to uh, 50 at least. It does seem a little high. bit unnecessary. Warning, oh, it is a bit warm low. down here, isn't it? Warning, low. Is that the greenhouse alert? Yes, it is. Okay, so what we need to change is the pressure low. So it's at 50 at the moment, is that right? Yes. Let me change that to 40. Peace at last. Slightly concerned that's going to come back to haunt us later, but becoming a bit too annoying. That's still not going to have it though, is it? Okay. Right. under there as well, they're no longer required um, because we've got the storm monitor. Right, this all feels a little bit more organised, especially now that voice isn't going off constantly with the warning. Um, right, hang on, I'll get off there. No, I'll just pick it up and move it then. I just thought it was more funny to do it that way. Right, let me go. That is not very flat. Go on, get in. Get in the corner. Thank you. Right. Okay, so uh, the sun is up. It's still the morning. Oxygen critical. Whoops, nearly. Lock my helmet. Okay, we can take the rover out. Um, as long as there's coal for that. Uh, it should be. There's some. I think we can take the rover out anyway because we uh, desperately need to replenish a number of things. OK. 
Okay, so nothing that you need in there. Notice that the pressure's actually built up quite a bit in here. That's from ga um, ice melting inside those chutes and outgassing. I suspect if I were to open this panel here, I'd find it's really quite, for time thinking about it, I ought to let the gas out of there because otherwise it's going to pop at some point. Ah, no it's not because uh, it looks like the bottom was never airtight. Okay. Oh, hit the door frame. That was terrible driving. No! This is really terrible driving. Right, there we go. We're out. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. lumpy but whoa that's a big hole oh I don't know what's going on with this constantly Flicking with the get in, but I'm in. It's really strange. Okay, well, that seems. No. Yeah, I'm in. I can't get into something I'm already in. It's really strange. Okay, this is. Oh my god! Rah! Distracting is what I was about to say, and then I fell in a hole. So it certainly was distracting. Right, wow, that's. Uh... Gonna be a fun one to dig out of, isn't it? I'm trying to work out where the back wheels oops actually are. see why we're not going any further. Hunger caution. Yeah, hunger's not my biggest concern at this moment, funnily enough. Basically the same edge of the same thing, haven't I? Yes. This is a right pain.
and free. Probably not the best terrain for a rover, really, right at the top of a mountain, but, you know. Filter low. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's not my last filter, that's fine. Uh, I'm on my last filter, but we're not low yet. That's cool. Strange hole in the landscape there. Yeah. Can see right through. Right. Um, well, I guess this will do. Seems as good a spot as any. Saving to find some ice, but. Load up with belts. Nope, that's for the outpost. When I get round to making one, which uh, we're a little way off yet, uh, that's what we need. Flip that over there. No, not tracker, that was wrong. Or scanner. More belts. Let's put that in there. Right, I think that should get us started. That's not exactly a surprise, is it? Right, there's some iron under there. It's out of range. Something green down here. Okay, let's go see what that is. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Distinctly disturbing when I break out of the world. I'll turn the jetpack on so I don't just fall. Which way? That way. That oh, was gold. Didn't really need any more gold, did we? the least important thing. I just thought mm, maybe there's just a small chance we might find some of the mythical nitrice um, which I'm assuming will be green. Um, I don't believe that the uh, in-game help has been updated to uh, say what colour it will be but Given that it is green, it's the most obvious colour. Anyway, it's not here, is it? So... It's hoping I'd come far enough from home that some might spawn. Doesn't look like it. Okay, 
Well, we'll just mine some stuff. It's good to keep the uh, furnaces fed anyway, because it's frustrating when you run out of critical stuff. So we'll get a bit more in here. Um, whoops, find the way back out, because I think that's pretty much exhausted that vein. Um, where was the... well, we'll take, we might as well take this oxide as well. It's always useful, and it's right here. Okay, that belt's full, so let's switch belts and uh, do that. It's almost full again already. It's quite a dense vein, this one. So, yep, there we go. of the uh, sword, or anyway. Okay, that looks like that's probably iron over there. About there, by the looks of things. Yep, there's some iron. Very good. It's the thing we've used the most of, so good to keep it topped up. Right, oh, another belt full. It does fill up quick. The nice thing with iron is it's so fast to mine compared to a lot of the others. filling up these belts quite fast now, aren't we? Uh, any more? Any more? Is that the end of the vein? No, there's more here. Okay, uh, well there's some sticking out there, so let's take that because that's just... Right, that looks like there's more further nearer the surface, but... Maybe not. Don't want to collapse the rover into a really deep hole. That would be a complete disaster, actually, is what that would be. I think that was the point in which we'd have to strip it down and dismantle it and rebuild it up on the top. the end of it. Well, maybe not, maybe there's some this way. It's weird, it looked like there was some here, but there's a bit. Okay, uh, I think that belt was full, wasn't it? Let's go to the black one. Vein though, that was good. Keep us in iron for a little while. Quite soon we're probably going to need to start making some of the advanced alloys, so if I see any cobalt while I'm out on my trip, I'll grab some of that as well. And look, more, 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 more. That belt's full anyway. Right, I think that's the end of that. I will take that silicon though. We've been using quite a lot of plastic and glass downstairs, and I suspect we'll be using quite a lot more, so worth stocking up. Looks like it'll be 
light soon. Which is good news. Whoops. Stay still, I want to press the button. Filter low. Is it though? It's not really, it's on 81%. That's not what I would personally call low. get light. Once it's light properly I'm going to see if I can see any ice veins. if all we've got is absolutely loads of grey ones. Um, let's swap that orange. Swap the blue. Swap the white. Swap the black. Swap the brown. Right, there we go. Look at that. It was there. There it is. It's just lurking in a little cubby hole. There we go. I'll take that copper. It's always useful, but I really want to see if there's any more coal there. Yes, there is. Okay, let's do this. And then we we'll go look for ice. Should be that way, I think. Yeah, I think I can just see something square on the horizon. I mean, we've got the tracker, so it's not a massive problem. I think we might get it out actually just to be on the safe side. Um, Hunger, wrong one. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll feed myself in a minute. Oh, do it right. That in there, that there, that back there, close that. Yeah, okay, so that's home over there. Feel 500 meters really should be far enough to uh, be into a new chunk. So if there's no, uh, actually some nickel would be helpful. Uh, if there's no nitrice here, we ain't gonna find any. Uh, but that might be normal ice over there, though. <laughs> Just see the radar poking up over there. I'm Just gonna go do one thing. That's a nice ice vein anyway. Very nice ice vein. We'll take that. Just thought we'd go over the hill, maybe we'll find some uh, ungenerated terrain. I don't think we did, but we did find lots of ice and that was what I was looking for. It's a bit of an inefficient way to get what we need, but it's better than not getting it at all. Uh, is that one full? Yes it is. That's the next one then. Full. That is full. Next. Okay, at least this should give us plenty of ice. Hopefully we'll finally get enough nitrogen to get the base properly pressurised. I don't know how many blocks of this stuff it's going to need, but... that we should be well on the way. Is that the end of that bit? I think it is. This is any further down. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a bit. Take it. get out of here but I saw a second vein as we came in so might just be no no I was gonna say might just be the odd bit on the surface but how are we doing now oh, we've got plenty of capacity in here Okay, right. I'm actually getting to almost full now. I think certainly enough that we'll head for home in a minute. Once this belt's full. Or at least once we get to the end of this vein. It might take a bit longer. I think this is the last free belt I've got though, so I think after that it's tough. Right, well, at least we've got loads and loads of ice. Whoops. 
And that one's full, that one's full. That one, oh no, that one's not full. Right, well, I'll take it. Okay, right, I think that's nearly the end. There's quite a big vein of it there though, that was good. Pleased we made the trip. Okay, that'll do. really want to get stuck out here in the dark. Let's hope I've done this right. There we go. There's the rover. The sun's just about going down, just the time you really want to be driving. Oh well. Okay, what I am going to do is very quickly uh, eat and drink, otherwise I'm going to have a problem. Very carefully here. Whoops. No, I think we're alright. I thought we were going to get stuck on this little mound here. Um. Where did I put my tablet? Wait, what? In one of the mining belts, I guess. Now figure out which one. Damn. There it is. Right. Okay, that is the right direction. I thought it should be, but it's always good to double check, especially at night. So we go carefully here. go that way. I think I'm going to go round that crater. Right. Whoa, there's a hole. This is mildly scary, I have to say. If I go down one of these holes, it's going to be an absolute pain to uh, recover. There's the base. Oops. I get that annoying flickering again. This is when we bounce, it seems to hit some hot spot and think that it's uh, appropriate to prompt me to press a button. Oh, a lot of oxide there. Okay, there we go. Now we've just got to work out which way we're actually coming in, because I don't think we're approaching from... I know we are approaching from where the garage is. Look at that. Okay, that was a pretty successful trip, wasn't it? 
So let's uh, get the doors open. Smack into the door frame. How is it that I have, I've not managed to do that at all until this playthrough, and then done it twice in the last once on the way in and once on the way out? There we go. And whoops, let's get the door shut. I never quite feel safe until the doors are shut. There we go. Right, good. Okay, so what we should be able to do now is feed. I don't really want to do the ones that are just water ice because I want to throw them straight in elsewhere, but we'll feed that in there. Okay, so I'm just watching the windowed shoots there just to make sure that it's only the copper that goes zooming along the top row, which it is, so that's good, so that's now working. Okay, good. Um, that's a mixed belt that can go in. that to do its thing right the next thing I'm going to do very quickly is to make sure we get those charging don't want to forget to do that and in the same vein we don't want to forget to change the tablet over either so let's flick that back there Throw that one in. Actually, I think all the ones on this side are probably eligible to go in. Right, nearly there. We'll just get this unloaded. And then we shall take all of these ice belts. And throw as much ice as we can into the hab, basically. Which uh, is a sad waste of water, really, but... Um, on the other hand, we need some nitrogen. Let's go do it. So in the meantime, just very quickly, we should be able to see some, hopefully some water ice, yes, has come through into here, so that's perfect. Uh, we've still got those uh, flowers that we're going to use for our oxygen farm later. Um, good, okay, so let's get this hab pressurised. Never again will it be too hot or not nitrogened enough. Um, at least that's the plan. Right, I need to be a little bit careful. It's probably not impossible to actually overpressure it now, but I think we'll be all right. Pressure's coming up, 61.
Oh yeah, look at that. Amazing. You can hear it blowing. That's got stuck there. There we go, we'll close that. Okay, 68, it's definitely getting there. Okay, have we got any more? Yep. Threw some down there as well. If it was hot down there, they'll melt faster. think that's all of them. Yep, that's all of it. Okay, well let's see how we get on. I mean we're not there, but that's 76 now. That's definitely looking much better. 50% um, nitrogen, so it's certainly better than it was. Um, in fact, if I also blow that open as well, go 75 it's not great but it's uh, it's getting in the right direction obviously what we want to do is hit 100 when we know we're 100 or more than 100 then uh, the actual air circulation will be working properly um, but also just because it's higher down there it'll be it's not as high yet up here yet but we'll get there so it's definitely progress um, See if we can make anything interesting in here. No, not yet. Uh, oh, we've run out of cans, actually. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Turn that off. Right, I think that's it for this episode. Um, it wasn't supposed to be as long as this, but it is, so there we go. Um, however, we've had a good tidy up in here. Um, and um, we will put in place next time some logic to automatically feed some seeds out. Um, in the short term, however, I'm going to vent that and hopefully that's going to feed as far as this Harvey. Oh, I was going to feed somewhere but not to there. Um, let's send two. No, okay. Oh no, there we go, that's doing it. Okay, so this is certainly much better. Um, we just need some logic that says when the Harvey's run out, vend. Um, and if I'm smart, I'll also adjust the logic on these sorters so I can get a true three-way split, um, which is doable. It just requires a bit of code. In the meantime, look, there's there's like floor and things and not plants and seeds and produce everywhere. Um, I'm not sure where the produce is going, though because it doesn't seem to be in here unless that has just cooked literally everything oh it may have done um, okay I need to keep a little bit of an eye on that just make sure that produce isn't ending up in here shouldn't be that no, looks alright that all looks like seeds to me That'll keep them fed for a bit anyway. Right, okay, I'm going to call that a day on this one. I hope you have enjoyed it again. Um, our little road trip to get some ice um, and, and the peace and quiet that is now our base without the constant siren. I'm sorry I didn't uh, adjust the settings on that earlier, to be honest, um, but I didn't, so that, that's how it is. Um, anyway, we are now... Um, nearly pressurized actually well two thirds of the way there um, and we've tidied up the Harveys so I'd say that was a, uh, a session well spent um, 
and I hope you'll join me on the next episode. Um, if you're enjoying these, uh, as I have said previously, I'd love it if you would subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them through to me. I do try and answer them all um, as quickly as I can. Um, so I hope uh, to see you on the next episode. But for now, goodbye.